Thank you everyone for joining the Larpenter Avenue, White Bear Avenue and North St. Paul Road Improvements virtual open house. We'll begin shortly. All right, well, that's six o'clock. We can get started here. Uh, hello and welcome to our virtual open house meeting for our upcoming Larpenter Avenue, White Bear Avenue and North St. Paul Road Improvements Project. Uh, we're glad that you were able to attend. We go to the next slide. Uh, my name's Alan Maxwell and I'm a project manager with Ramsey County Public Works. I'm here with Chad Larson from Kimley Horn, who has served as our design consultant on this project. And we are here to update you on the design of our 2023 improvements. Uh, we're joined by Ramsey County's program director, John Mazzatello, and traffic engineer, Brad Astoshin, as well as Steve Love from the city of Maplewood and Reuben Collins from the city of St. Paul. Our goal today is to bring you up to speed on our refined roadway layout and give you an opportunity to ask questions that you may have. Chad and I will give our presentation, which should take about 30 minutes, and will be followed by another 30 minutes for questions and answers. During our presentation, the microphones will be turned off. We would ask that if you have any questions, please click on the Ask a Question button found in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Uh, you may also check the box to ask a question anonymously. And for mobile users, this can be found in the upper right hand portion of your screen. We will answer questions asked in the chat box following our presentation. Remember, if you lose audio at any point during the presentation, be sure to check to see if you've paused the live meeting. With this project, Ramsey County plans to spot repair the existing concrete on White Bear Avenue from Larpenter Avenue to Frost Avenue. We will reconstruct North St. Paul Road from White Bear Avenue to Ripley Avenue and reconstruct Larpenter Avenue from Flandreau Street to Hazel Street. With the reconstruction of this aging infrastructure, we will be adding sidewalk and bike lanes consistent with Ramsey County's All Ability Transportation Network goal is to provide a safer, more connected corridor for walkers and bikers, as well as drivers. Now I'll pass things off to Chad for a look at how our project has progressed so far. Thanks, Alan. Some of the existing conditions that we will be addressing with this project include the following. Poor pavement condition along the roadways, a lack of sidewalk along the west side of Whitebury Avenue, limited space, for meeting the requirements of ADA, which is the American Disabilities Act, and lack of bicycle accommodations along Larpenter Avenue and North St. Paul Road. Next, let's discuss the design goals of the project. 
the design related goals of the project are to improve the condition of the pavement, sidewalk, and utility infrastructure, improve safety for all users by adding ADA compliant signal upgrades and new sidewalk along Larpenter Avenue, Whitebur Avenue, and North St. Paul Road, and to improve the safety and connectivity of the bicycle network in this area. Next, let's review the planned improvements for the project area. The planned improvements for pedestrians and bicyclists include the following, adding a new sidewalk along the west side of Whitebur Avenue, adding bike lanes to Larpenter Avenue and North St. Paul Road, and replacing old sidewalk and upgrading signals to meet ADA standards. In addition to these improvements for pedestrians and bicyclists, the project will include the following, utility improvements, upgrades to traffic signals, at the intersections of Whitebur Avenue and Larpenter Avenue, as well as Whitebur Avenue and Frost Avenue, and the removal of the traffic signal at Whitebur Avenue and Ripley Avenue. Larpenter Avenue and North St. Paul Road will be completely reconstructed, while Whitebur Avenue will undergo a rehabilitation of its concrete pavement. Next, Alan will review the feedback we received from our first round of public engagement. Alan? Thank you, Chad. Uh, so far, Ramsey County has received several comments as part of our project outreach last summer. On the screen are some of the most common questions that we received. There is concern about removing the traffic signal at Ripley Avenue as part of this project. We want you to know that this decision was not made lightly, but was the result of a traffic signal study. Uh, this took into account things like the number of vehicles per hour, the number of pedestrians that use the crossing each day, and the amount of bus route users, as well as the distance from other traffic signals and the number of crashes. This criteria called warrants is the same that MnDOT uses when looking to replace or install their traffic signals. Our study found that none of these applicable warrants were met at this intersection, consistent with low traffic volume, low pedestrian volume, and low amount of bus users. We understand that speeding is a concern along White Bear Avenue. However, our study has not found that the presence of this signal plays a significant role in controlling the speeding. Our traffic study did show that left turning traffic is low enough to be able to make their turns during the gaps while lights are red at Larpenter Avenue and Frost Avenue. We have also included sidewalk along the west side of White Bear Avenue as part of our design and this will allow walkers to cross at Larpenter Avenue or Frost Avenue. We've also received mixed feedback concerning the reduction of travel lanes on Larpenter Avenue and the addition of bike lanes. Our traffic study has shown that the vehicles per day on Larpenter Avenue is low enough that reducing a lane will not inhibit the traffic flow, but instead adding, the tur adding turn lanes and removing the opportunity for traffic to cut in front of each other should result in less accidents. While the added bike lanes will connect to the existing bike lanes at Hazel Street and give a designated space for bikers through this commercial area. The condition of Van Dyke Street from Larpenter Avenue to North St. Paul Road came up several times as well. And while we understand that this roadway is in poor condition, Van Dyke Street is not a county roadway and it will not be included as part of this project aside from at the intersections but the city of Maplewood has completed maintenance on this section of Van Dyke Street late, late last fall, and they are aware of the public concern for this street. Drainage issues at the intersection of White Bear Avenue and Larpenter Avenue have been considered as well, and will be addressed with our proposed reconstruction. I'll now hand things back to Chad for a more detailed look at our proposed design. All right. Thanks, Alan. Now let's look at a, couple, a few of the details of the design of the project. This slide shows the preliminary design of Larpenter Avenue from Flandreau Street to Whitebur Avenue. The signal system at Whitebur Avenue and Larpenter Avenue will be replaced, as you can see on the exhibit with the eye with a circle around it. New sidewalks are shown in dark purple on the exhibit and reconstructed sidewalks are shown in light purple. New bike lanes along Larpenter Avenue are shown in green. 
Next slide, please. Here is the preliminary design of Larpenter Avenue from White Bear Avenue east to Hazel Street. Again, the dark purple shows the new sidewalks and the light purple is showing reconstructed sidewalk. The proposed bike lane shown in green will require the vehicle travel lanes along Larpenter Avenue to be reduced from two lanes in each direction down to one lane in each direction. The proposed bike lanes will connect to the existing bike lanes along Larpenter Avenue east of Hazel Street. Next slide, please. White Bear Avenue's concrete pavement will undergo a rehabilitation, which will include crack repair, joint sealing, and some concrete panel replacement. The new sidewalk along the west side of White Bear Avenue is shown in dark purple on this exhibit. North St. Paul Road will be completely reconstructed, which will include new pavement, the addition of new bike lanes, and new sidewalk improvements. Next slide, please. This image shows the intersection of White Bear Avenue and Ripley Avenue, where the existing traffic signal is proposed to be removed. As Alan stated earlier, our traffic analysis indicates that none of the warrants are met to justify the replacement of this traffic signal due to low traffic volumes and low pedestrian volumes. Next, Alan will review the project schedule. Alan? Thank you, Chad. Throughout the upcoming spring and summer, we will continue to refine our final design. Construction is scheduled to begin in the spring of 2023, and our next open house will be held this summer. The next open house will focus mostly on the upcoming construction phasing plan for this project. Next slide, please. For more information, you can visit our project website ramseycounty.us slash white bear and larpenter to review the refined layout and tell us what you think through the interactive feedback map and survey which are available through february 25th you can sign up for project email updates to stay informed as the project progresses and we will be posting a recording of tonight's presentation and its materials to the project website if you have any other questions, you can reach out to me at 651-266-7157 or email me at allen.maxwell at ramseycounty.us. We will now begin our question and answer segment. As we sort through the questions that have come through so far, you can continue to type new questions using the ask a question button. Thank you. All right, it looks like we've already received a few questions during the presentation. Um, so this first question is for Chad and it's about sidewalks. Will there be sidewalks on Larbender west of White Bear? If so, what happens to our mailboxes? Thanks, Emma. Uh, the answer is yes, there will be sidewalks on Larbender west of White Bear Avenue. On the south side of White Bear Avenue, there will be a grass space between the edge of the back of the curb as, and the sidewalk where mailboxes will be placed. Uh, so mailboxes will be placed in a green space or grass area on the south side of Larpenter Avenue. On the north side of Larpenter Avenue, due to limited right of way and um, constraints, the sidewalk will be placed right at the back of the curb, but the sidewalk will be wider in that location. And so the mailboxes will be, will be placed actually in the, side, in the wider sidewalk. Thanks, Chad. We're going to stick with you for this next question um, regarding construction staging. The question is, to what streets will White Bear traffic be diverted? Thanks, Emma. So um, as I mentioned during the presentation, the improvements along White Bear Avenue are limited to what we call concrete pavement rehabilitation. Um, so it's, it's a relatively minor process. And since White Bear Avenue is currently two lanes in each direction, we will be reducing uh, traffic down to one lane in each direction, but the traffic will be maintained on White Bear Avenue, so it will not be diverted to any adjacent side street. Thanks, Chad. And for this next question, we're gonna go to Alan. It's about the presentation slides. 
Um, the question is, will these slides be available for those who are unable to attend the virtual open house tonight? Uh, yes, as uh, mentioned previously, um, the website where you can find these presentation materials will be ramseycounty.us slash white bear and larpender and we should be posting these uh this presentation and the materials by uh early next week thanks alan um we have another question here about the roadway design um and we'll stick with you alan the person says, I saw a study about Ramsey County's four to three conversions, such as what was recently done to McKnight Road. White Bear Avenue was listed as a street which would benefit from this type of conversion. Are there plans to address this? So typically we um, plan our projects out five years ahead of time as part of our transportation improvement plan. And um, while uh, there are lots of segments of Ramsey County roadways that are planning three to four lane conversions. I don't believe that this area of White Bear Avenue is planned within the next five years. Uh, that might be something that if we look a few years further down the line could happen, but for uh, this at this section that is within our project limits, uh, that is not coming up soon. Thank you, Alan, and it looks like we've answered all the questions we received so far. Um, we'll stay on for a bit longer, so please go ahead and submit your questions through the chat. All right, it looks like we have another question regarding sidewalks. Um, Alan, who will be maintaining the sidewalks? Good question. Um, the county does not perform maintenance on its sidewalks. We delegate that to the cities and the cities have their own um, maintenance plans. Um, sometimes those are passed along to the residents by ordinance. And so whether your uh, residence is in the city of Maplewood or the city of St. Paul, um, you need to check with them to see if you are required by ordinance to uh, maintain your own sidewalk segment. But that's not something that the county typically gets involved with. Thank you, Alan. Um, another question here about traffic calming. This person asks, will there be any traffic calming measures considered as part of this project? I can answer that question. This is Brad uh, Stoshin. The Ramsey County traffic engineer. Uh, the the four to three lane conversion that's occurring on Larpenter actually is a traffic calming measure um, that should help slow speeds down. Um, it also should help uh, with you know a safe and efficient movement of of uh, motorized and non motorized traffic as well. So we'll be utilizing that space a little bit differently. Um, but studies have indicated that a three lane cross section is a, a much more harmonious. Uh, type of roadway environment to move traffic um, and then provide ample space for your non-motorized non users as well. Um, the installation of the sidewalk along White Bear Avenue, um, you know, the pedestrian facilities can have a traffic calming effect. Um, you know, and, and, and so that will have also a smaller impact on White Bear Avenue in terms of traffic calming. Um, but studies have indicated that the, the presence of a pedestrian facility and use pipe pedestrians can also influence travel speeds and behaviors. Thanks, Brad. Um, this next question is for Chad. This question asks, will this project affect Ramsey County Fair that occurs the second week, in, week of July, the entrance off of White Bear Avenue and Ripley? 
Thanks, Emma. Uh, so our we're still midway through our design of this project, um, so we're still working through the details of the construction phasing, but we will take the Ramsey County Fair into account when we develop our construction phasing approach and require the contractor to have all lanes of Whitebrae Avenue open during the Ramsey County Fair activities um, so that we won't have any significant traffic impacts as a result of um, the construction during the week of the County Fair. Thanks, Chad. And it looks like we have answered all the questions again. So feel free to submit more questions. We'll be on. All right, it looks like we received another question. Um, Alan, this question is about sidewalks and the person asks, why do we need the sidewalks on White Bear Ave if we have so few pedestrians? Hey, good question. Uh, so yeah, as part of our study, we saw that not a lot of pedestrians were crossing at the Ripley Avenue crossing, but in terms of the sidewalk along White Bear Avenue, there's still several residences along that road where, say if somebody was in a wheelchair and was looking to leave their house, they would need to go onto the shoulder of White Bear Avenue in order to get down. It's things like that with the American Disabilities Act or the ADA that we're looking to provide that access for all users so that um, we can keep the corridor safer. Thanks, Alan. Um, for this next question, we're going to go to Chad. This person asks, will the stop sign at Frost and White Bear Ave remain? Thanks, Emma. Uh, the, the answer is yes. Uh, there's currently a traffic signal at the intersection of Frost Avenue and White Bear Avenue, and with this project, we are proposing to replace that traffic signal um, in its entirety. So there will be a, a new traffic signal at Frost and White Bear upon completion of this project. Thanks, Chad. And it looks like we have answered all the questions again. Feel free to submit more questions. We'll be staying on.
All right, it looks like we might have gotten another question regarding traffic calming. Um, so this question asks, on the subject of traffic calming, many residents and businesses have expressed concerns over the high speed on White Bear Avenue. I know that Council Member Yang is very interested in seeing some concerted effort between neighborhood, county, and city to address these. When, we, when can we be, begin discussions to address? Brad, would you like to take this question? Sure. Um, so along White Bear Avenue, um, you know, it's a higher volume um, roadway. Um, and, and, you know, the operating speeds are, are close to the speed limit. Um, like most roads in the county, in the state, you know, the operating speeds tend to be a little bit above the speed limit. Um, and so, you know, things, traditional measures like uh, looking at lane widths, um, looking at things um, that, that tighten up the cross section um, really were beyond the scope of what we looked at for this project. Um, you know, we aren't reconstructing the road. We're not replacing a lot of curb. And so, uh, you know, we're, we're doing what we can in the spaces provided um, to, to help with some of the traffic calming measures. Um, and so, you know, within the scope and, and what we have budgeted to, to get at with this project, um, we're optimistic that we're going to realize some real changes on Larbiter Avenue. Um, and then uh, White Bear Avenue, you know, with the new signal, um, with some additional amenities, uh, you know, it should hopefully have an impact there. But, uh, you know, in terms of modifying the whole White Bear Avenue roadway environment, um, that that just isn't in the scope of this project. Um, and I'll, I'll go back to the four to three lane conversion study. Um, the recommendation from that four to three lane report along White Bear Avenue was that several of the areas needed additional study to determine the best way to manage traffic um, since the, um, you know, in different parts of White Bear Avenue, uh, the, the traffic volumes um, would likely cause a, a catastrophic breakdown during certain periods of the day. So further study was needed, um, which didn't fit into the time frame of actually implementing anything as part of this project. Thanks, Brad. For our attendees, feel free to submit more questions or comments into the chat. We'll stick around to answer them.
All right, we haven't received any new questions in the past few minutes. Um, so I think we can go ahead and wrap up. Uh, Alan, I'll go ahead and turn it over to you for any closing comments. No, we just uh, appreciate you guys attending the meeting and giving us your questions. Again, if um, if you have anything else that comes to mind or you want to share these materials with your neighbors, uh, you can go ahead and um, look up the Ramsey County dot US slash White Baron Larpenter website, and that should have all of these presentation materials um, sent there by early next week. So yeah. Thank everyone for coming. You guys have a good night.